Hi friends, Rick with the Old Man Tech Channel. We're not going to show how to rewire a lamp today. There's plenty of videos out there on how to do that. However, I'm going to show a little of my journey to separate myself from the common electromagnetic fields in my near vicinity. One of which is the many appliance cords that most of us have around us. Before and after measurements of my lamp, which is located next to my favorite chair, will be conducted. I'll be replacing the lamp cord as well as the long extension cord that runs along the wall next to me. The replacement cord I will be using is called MU cord. This product is exclusive to LessEMF.com. It claims to suppress both the electrical and magnetic fields. It has two 20 gauge hot wires, two 20 gauge neutral wires, a ground wire, and metal sheathing surrounding the wires under the insulation. You twist the two hots together and the two whites together. Then you can wire them normally on each end. In my case, I have no ground connection on the socket end of my lamp. That is okay. The cord will still perform as long as you connect the ground wire to the ground terminal on the three-prong plug-in end. Now, if you do have a ground terminal on your socket end, I would go ahead and connect that. Okay, nothing fancy here today. We're going to do these checks on this lamp on my floor. Here's the MU cord that I showed you earlier. Got about 100 feet of it. I think that'll take care of this place and then some. Here's the cord. I had an extension cord fastened to it going to the lamp. Basically for the last 20 some years sitting by my chair in the living room and now that I've gotten a little education on EMFs and the hazards I'm trying to uh, eliminate as much as that uh, as possible in my in my home here so we're going to take the meter out put it on the electric field there we have it now just to keep all these measurements the same I'm going to move it up right up and touch the cord. Now you see when I did that it went to a 1 with a bunch of dashes. That means that the field has exceeded what this meter can measure. The maximum on this meter is 1000 volts a meter. So you see when we pull it back. Distance is your friend on all these EMFs but if you can't, then you're going to have to try and remedy it somehow, and that's where the MU cord comes into place. Now that we know what the electrical, what we got there, let's switch it over to magnetic. Okay, there's the magnetic. Shouldn't be much of anything there. Let's turn the lamp on. First setting of the three, 4.5. Second setting. 10.6, third setting, 15. Okay, let's put it back to electric. Let's put it up here on the lamp. You think you got a problem with just the cord? No, the cord runs up through the lamp. There's a one again, but because there's a little gap between the outside of this lamp and the cord going up, it's, uh, it's it's hitting on one now and then. So you got the same hazard here at your lamp as you do down here on the cord. We'll check the magnetic one more time. See what we have it on high. I'll record that sixteen point six. Turn the lamp off. All right. We'll go ahead and change the uh, cords and see what we get for a result after that. All right. The old lamp cord and extension cord have been replaced with the new MU cord. It is very important that you use a three prong plug in with the ground terminal for the cord to perform as advertised. Make sure you hook that up. Now we'll take our readings with the new MU cord installed and plugged in. We'll set it to electric. We'll 
we're running about one volt per meter okay now we'll set it to magnetic and we'll turn the lamp on point six one point two one point seven milligauss so let's see what that comes out to on reduction okay time to do a little math here the old electrical field with the old cord was a thousand plus volts per meter we don't know what that plus is so we'll go with uh, the thousand for uh, mathematical persuasion here the magnetic field was running 15 milligauss with the lamp on high. Now on the new M cord, MU cord, the electrical field was running around 1 to 2, it pretty much settled on 1 volts per meter. The magnetic field with the lamp on was 1.7 milligauss, this check. Okay, so we do a little math here. On electric field, we'll take our 1,000 minus the 1 minus the 1 volts per meter and we end up with uh, 999 over a thousand same figure we come up to 99 percent the magnetic field with the lamp on high in this case with the new cord is running 1.7 milligauss so we'll take that from the 15 that we had on the old cord and we come up with 13.3 over 15, which comes out to 88666, 89%, almost 90% reduction. So I think I can live with that. This is where my journey began prior to installing the MU cord. The cords you see here were wrapped with aluminum foil tape and connected to the reset ground which goes to a grounding rod outside my bedroom of which my earthing sheet is also connected. My experimentation revealed that grounding the metal sheathing suppressed the electric fields, but not the magnetic fields. This is where the MU cord shines by suppressing both of these fields. I have one cord going to a lamp and the other one going to a, a heater. So I'm going uh, to probably change the cords on both of these also. As a final note, the MU cord will not compensate for an unbalanced current. If you have a net current on a circuit you want to use, the wiring errors will need to be corrected by an electrician before any EMF reduction can be realized. It can also make your exposure to the EMF worse. Have a good day.